We've lost the front right. The front right tire has shredded. More F1 2021 information and gameplay. Let's do it. Thank you, EA Game Changers, for allowing me to create this video and share it with you guys. Now, today we're going to go over the new damage model as well as the handling changes and some other features that we haven't gone over yet in our first two videos about F1 2021. If you have not yet checked them out, link is in the description to those videos. Gotta check them out. Now, let's start off with the damage model. Now, the damage model has been completely revised and actually added onto with some new features. Now, from now on, damage will be visible on the side pods, the floor, the front wing, as well as the rear wing. There's also new tire punctures, which the first one you'll see on the screen right now, this one is actually a rip-off puncture. But this tire surface rip-off is actually similar to real life, where some of the tire is actually being ripped off and you have to try and keep it on. Now the tire surface you can't actually rip off yet in the game, like you could in real life, right, as you're driving around and trying to to, to keep that surface on there, right? Uh, but in the game, you can't do that yet. However, Codemasters is trying to go and keep on improving on the damage model, on the newly revised damage model uh, as they go on. So we might have that in the future. Now, the next one, of course, is the deflating punctures, which were sort of already there in F1 2020. But now what you have is you actually get Jeff on the radio telling you, yo, you have a slow puncture incoming and it will get worse and worse as you go, which you'll see on the screen right now as well. We think you could have a slow puncture in the front left tire. We're seeing a loss of pressure. Now the tire service ripoff you normally don't really get too often. You normally get it just by scraping with the wall and then it normally happens. But the deflating tire, the slow puncture is a lot more common. You can get it by hitting other cars as well as scraping the wall just like you would get with the tire service ripoff. Now the next big thing is rear wing damage and that is actually the one that has the most amount of impact as well as the most amount of visual impact in the game as well. Uh, you'll see uh, on the screen right now how much impact the rear wing damage could actually make it actually looks insane it's uh it's it's a big big impact especially if you look back for example if you try to open a drs or something or somebody else is behind of you looking at that rear wing it literally looks like there's a shark just bit uh, a piece out of that rear wing there now the rear wing damage actually makes your car understeer a lot more as well as it makes it a lot more unpredictable we're trying to put the throttle on the car so it's a lot more uh oversteery snappy when you get that rear wing damage now it could actually range from like a tiny tiny piece that has been put out of the rear wing or what you're seeing on the screen right now now next up we have side pod damage as well as floor damage now these are the ones that are actually a little bit minor in terms of how big the visual impact is on the car however they do have an impact in terms of the handling as well uh, they'll make the car more understeery just like the rear wing as well it will just not be pleasant to drive with them uh, but the floor damage could actually have uh, some big chunks taken out of them you'll see it right now as well with the Alpha Tauri that we're seeing right now on the left hand side you'll see a big big chunk out of the floor taken away so it's really really cool and you'll see that actually flying up in the sky as well whenever you hit somebody now a new setting that we have as well is regarding the low fuel mode. Now you have a new setting where you can actually change how big of an impact you want that low fuel mode to make. Now you can make it have a very big impact and that will actually make the car have a very low top speed whenever you have the low uh, fuel mode enabled. Or you can make it have a very low impact and then you can just uh, try and, and, and keep on driving like you would normally do. It would have a, a minor impact but not as big as you would have normally. Now next up we're going to go over the handling changes and I can tell you one thing they're similar but at the same time they are a lot a lot different. The entire tire model has had a rework allowing for the downforce as well as the car handling to feel a lot more realistic than it was before. Now the cars feel a lot more snappy stepping underneath you at for example a sudden loss of downforce. Now this mostly happens when losing downforce due to low speeds as well as going over higher curbs. And I can tell you one thing about curbs, they are deadly. It also feels like there's more downforce to do the corners, making the cars feel more planted to the ground. You can actually go onto the throttle a lot earlier than you could in F1 2020 as well. It's a lot to get used to, but I actually still have to get used to it myself as well. However, when you get used to it, you'll definitely feel the difference and you can see the difference as well. The same thing goes with braking. You can brake a lot later than you could in F1 2020 as well. And trail braking, so braking hard at first and then gradually letting loose of the brakes is going to play a big part in that. What I do feel like though is that in the rain we have a little bit of a tougher job this time around, especially if you're not using the ABS assist. I've done a couple of laps in rain so far and it does feel a lot harder to not lock up the tires. It, this could be something with the brakes as well or the calibration that I have not done completely. 
completely yet but i reckon this is overall right that the braking in the wet is going to be a little bit tougher another addition to the handling model is that it's actually going to be easier to drive over off-track surfaces like grass for example that you're seeing in the background right now now let's go over to a couple of features that we have not talked about yet now there's a new retirement cutscene and i'm a big sucker for cutscenes so i will always try and uh, and put all the cutscenes or whatever in the uh, in the videos that i can because i always love the stories and all that good stuff now let's go over to the casual standard and expert presets now these presets are settings and uh, judging off of how good you are or how experienced you are with f1 let's say you are a casual player you put the settings on casual you'll be able to change a couple of things like you can see on the screen right now but if you are more experienced let's say expert so the most experienced driver you can be you have all of the access to all of the options so that if you don't want it to become too cluttered you can go and get rid of all the other settings However, I reckon if you're watching this video, you're probably going to go and be an expert, right? Now, a new addition as well is new safety car radio messages. For example, when uh, a safety car comes out, it will actually give you uh, the reason, or Jeff will give you the reason over the radio uh, on why it has happened. Okay, watch your pace. We've been informed that the safety car is out. There appears to have been an issue with multiple stopped vehicles on the track. The officials are deploying the safety car due to multiple cars being stopped on track. Mind your delta. A virtual safety car, by the way, can now also turn into a full safety car. So that's pretty cool. And both Mercedes and the Aston Martin safety car will be in the full release. Rest assured. Now the last change for F1 2021 is that there's not going to be any classic cars in the game. However, we will still see the Formula 2 cars. I do not know how quick we will see the 2021 Formula 2 cars, but we will have the 2019 cars as well as the 2021s. Because of course, the Breaking Point career actually uses the 2019 cars in the very first season as well. Now ladies and gentlemen, this was the very last video on F1 2021 I could do with this preview build. However, once I get my hands on the full release, I will be uploading way more videos. So make sure you go and get subscribed right now if you have not yet, because man oh man, those videos are going to be nuts and I'm going to be covering everything there is to cover. If you have not yet gone and followed my Twitter, make sure you do so as well i stream on there always so make sure you go and join into the show at some point as well i would love to talk to you live now have a good one hope to see you very very soon in the next video and i'll see you in the next one peace